Hello Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, welcome to a brand new Star Wars The Legacy Collection action figure review. For today's Legacy Collection action figure review, of course, after Jango Fett, I have Boba Fett, his son and clone, or however you like to look at it. Really interesting. So here's Boba Fett. Um, purchased him last year for a really good price of $6 at Walmart. Very, very good price. And um, really like the the way Boba Fett looks on this package. Of course, really nice close-up picture there of Boba Fett. Love, love, love the lighting. Very, very awesome. And uh, this Boba Fett action figure was actually part of the A New Hope wave from the Legacy Collection. So, and of course you've got the Darth Maul Episode 1 Qui-Gon Jinn and Eopi Mail-Away sticker offer, which comes with a certificate inside. And um, this is build droid number 36, right there. Boba Fett. And, uh, of course, you can see the action figure with his um, fully loaded with accessories inside. Very, very cool. And, of course, on the back, we've got a nice still shot here of Boba Fett, the action figure. And, of course, a nice uh, still shot from uh, The Empire Strikes Back, right in the carbon freezing chamber in uh, Bespin on Cloud City. I mean, Cloud City, yeah. So, um, of course, this comes with, um, this comes with a center... Uh, torso for uh, R3A2, right there, the Build-A-Droid piece, as you can see, okay, and uh, the other figures in the wave, of course, Han Solo with Stormtrooper uh, armor, and uh, Chewbacca, co-pilot with a headset for the Millennium Falcon, and of course, uh, Imperial Scanning Crew, okay, so just let me uh, read the back of the card for the description of this figure, it says here, Boba Fett is a merciless bounty hunter whose distinctive armor contains countless weapons and devices. Son of notorious bounty hunter Django Fett, Boba tracks and eventually captures Han Solo. So, there's Boba Fett, and uh, he looks really awesome, and um, I can't wait to review him. So, let me open him up and uh, do the review. I'm just going to cut right there, off to the side. And I'm just going to just like that, and release Boba Fett from his plastic prison. Okay, so there's a build a droid piece right here, and again, this is the center torso for R3A2. Okay, much like the, the center uh, torso for uh, R3M3 from Django Fed, pretty much the same exact thing, same exact mold and sculpt, just different colors. Okay, but this is from Boba Fett from the A New Hope Wave. And we've got some elastic bands here. So Boba Fett's right there. Elastic bands. There's two right there. So I'm just going to cut it real quick to release this bounty hunter. Just like that. Pop him out of the plastic tray. You've got to be careful though because Boba Fett has his jetpack which is right there. The plastic tray. Okay. Okay, so he has his rocket launcher here and it, his rocket got a little bent from the packaging, but it's okay. You can fix that. Okay, so I am going to not put the his jetpack first. Take off his helmet so we can see everything. Okay, so here is J uh, Boba Fett. Excuse me, not Django Fett. Boba Fett, and um, just diff uh, different sculpt from uh, Django Fett. He does have his um his kind of uh, I forgot what it's called. His like head um. His head, uh, head mask or something. Can't remember what it's called right now. But uh, he does have ball jointed neck, ball, ball hinged shoulders, and ball hinged elbows. And unlike Django Fett, he doesn't have those cords resisting, um, you know, movement for his left elbow. So you can have a free range of motion. And he does have swivel. Uh, Cuffs right there. No, no wrist articulation, unfortunately. Much like Django Fett, maybe the very almost the same sculpt. Um, he does have a cord here on his right shoulder, so that may definitely restrict movement. And I think it does. No, it doesn't. Well, to a certain extent, just a little bit. Not too bad though. So that's very cool. And he does have a ball hinged uh, upper torso, swivel hips ball hinged knees and of course ball hinged ankles so very similar articulation to Django Fett 
may very well be the same sculpt, the same exact body, just different repaint. Well, actually, no, it's a different body, sorry. Um, the armor is different, of course. He's got more, he's got his Wookiee scalps here. He's got more accessories, and he's, he doesn't have the two holsters. He's got more pockets on his, on his uh, trousers. He's got more, you know, stuff on it. Django Fett, on the other hand, has more armor plating. So, very, very cool. And, of course, he does have his little, uh, his cape here, which is, like, torn up, and it's got some holes. Really, really nice detail. And, again, I really love this action figure. Really, really love the, uh, the articulation and the, uh, the sculpt and the design and the color, the paint, everything is well done. He's got a, he's got his blaster here, okay, and um, that this small blaster of his can definitely go on on his uh, on his um, holster right here on his right holster, and he's got his big blaster rifle right here on his right arm, okay. So a uh, very very cool Boba Fett action figure, and. Um, He's got his jetpack here, and this is the exact same version, the first version of the jetpack that Jango Fett used in Episode 2 on Kamino. And this is the rocket that he fires against Obi-Wan Kenobi, on Obi-Wan Kenobi. Of course, he's got a little peg there. Boba Fett's got his uh, peg hole back there. You just stick it in, and there you have it. And, of course, he's got his helmet. And, of course, with his helmet, he's got a little dent there. And... Um, if I'm not mistaken, of course, Django Fett hits his head on the door of Slave 1 in Episode 2, and uh, that's probably where uh, Boba Fett gets his dad. He just repaints uh, his dad's armor, his father's armor. And uh, what I really like about Boba Fett, of course, is his armor is all um, worn out and torn up and, you know, scratched up, and it looks just great. It looks, you know, he's got the perfect weathering. It just looks absolutely awesome. And so Boba Fett, this action figure is definitely, definitely awesome. A must purchase. If you don't have a Boba Fett action figure and you see this Boba Fett action figure on the shelf, on the pegs, pick him up. Okay? Boba Fett is absolutely cool. And just love the detail, love the, love the paint, love the colors, love all the accessories and, you know, the battle damage that he has over the years that he's, he's, um, he's had on his armor. So very, very cool action figure definitely a must add in your Star Wars action figure collection and if there's any bounty hunter you're gonna get first you should get Boba Fett and he's even got the Mandalorian symbol right here it's very small I don't know if you guys can see it but very very cool okay I definitely give this a solid rating I'd actually give this an 11 out of 10 Stormtrooper helmets so 110 percent definitely get this um, high, my highest recommendation one of the best action figures that's been released so far in the Legacy Collection very, very awesome. And I uh, really can't wait for, for Hasbro to release the Mandalorian Warrior Clone Wars action figures, especially one of Pre Vizsla. I know I keep saying it, but I'm just, you know, I really on a Boba Fett, on, on a Mandalorian uh, Warrior um, craze right now. So, especially with a new episode. Very, very cool. Okay, and just, uh, just to show you guys a side by side comparison, here's Django. And here's Boba. Similar looking armor, but then again, still different. Django is a little bit more cleaner and sleeker look. Boba has a rough and worn and torn up, like a you know, battle damage look, look to, to, to his um, armor. Okay. Very, very cool. And I definitely recommend both, if you see both of these, Django and Boba pick them up. Great, great addition to your Star Wars action figure collection. Okay, so this is Boba Fett, and he is awesome! So anyway, that's pretty much it for this Star Wars action figure review. I hope you guys enjoyed this re uh, review of Boba Fett from the Legacy Collection. And until uh, next time, may the Force be with you. He's no good to me dead.